we're just out there looking for things constantly in new places to skate. I mean, the vibe's just a lot different down here, too. It's a lot more laid back in Hawaii. Like, nobody's, you know, rushing to do anything or trying to get anywhere too quickly. If we're going to skate here, we need to skate something different. I want to go to places that make no sense to film skating at, and we're going to figure it out when we're there. You're very much at the mercy of the place you go to as far as this is the moment we're in. So if it's raining, how do we handle that? You know, it creates an opportunity to show something different. Can I show that in a way that's actually kind of interesting and beautiful to watch as a viewer, uh, whether you're skateboard or not? Can you understand? Can you grasp? Can you connect with the skateboarder? Wow, that sucks. One more year, if I get like really sick or injured, like I can't do anything about it. That's gnarly. I've been taking it for granted all this time. You know, you legally have to get the bubble gum. Really? Uh, we'll see about that. No, you Maybe I can do. slide that, through that, the cracks. <laughs> I'll slide through the cracks. Now, otherwise, it's a certain percentage of your salary. Oh, that would work even better, because uh, a percentage of zero would be zero. It's a good life. Crazy. Holy shit. What is that? Like a mongoose, I think, huh? Dude, that's gnarly. Hopefully I want to do something up the three, no comply flip down. Something up the three, no comply front side flip down. And then you know, something up the three, fakey, no comply down. If I can get two out of those three, I'll be happy. Oh, I just really need to be outside and wake up, you know what I mean? Like, just, uh... Hey, Brett, no. what do you support more, no comply flip or no comply frontside flip? One, I want to try either firecracker up or kickflip up, and then one, I want to try and, like, uh, like, a uh, flamingo walk up the three. I love the firecracker up. I mean, I don't know, firecracker up is, like, I don't know if it'll work. The steps have to be small, and these are kind of normal size. But, you know, I'll try it. I'll see what happens. Yeah. It's so strange. Like, only certain stairs works. If they're not the right size, your wheels just get jammed on them. effort you put in towards landing a trick the better it feels when you finally roll away from it it's kind of hard to explain I mean any skater will know that feeling of rolling away from something that you've been you've been trying for a really long time it really is indescribable you have to really be dedicated and uh, you know truly love it to you know get better and you know be productive with it 
But I mean, that that's just, just how skateboarding goes. You know, you land something your first try, and the second the camera's out, it might take another 200 tries. It's crazy. Non-skateboarders, when they watch skateboarding, they have no concept of the, the, the mental torture and the physical exhaustion behind learning one little trick. And your body is just destroyed, especially because you're X amount of days in, and he's, you know, X amount of tries in, and you're just destroyed. And then he finally gets it. I feel deeply um, about this idea that everybody has this artistic value. Everybody, skateboarder or whatever. Um, it's just this people that are obsessed with translating outside their head. And the skateboarder, it's the same thing. It's the same relationship with, like, I'm obsessed with this idea. I have this thing in my head or this drive to do something, and I just have to do it. But it's very relatable on any type of art form. And it's this whole idea that everything is skatable. So you go from like this pinpoint, like this narrow point of view to like everything's skatable. And then now everyone's getting good. And now there's a correct way to skateboard again. And then all of a sudden we're back to the exact same problem that we started with where it's like, this is how you skate. You skate, you know, ledges, stairs, rails, you know, there's X amount of objects you're allowed to skate and skateboard. You know, people watch and they go, wow, they do like totally different tricks on different obstacles. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Well, that's not what's supposed to be weird. That's, you know, I mean, you're free to whatever, but you can't help, but as a regular street skateboarder in this in this time, to be like, mm, that was weird. And you're like, why? Isn't that the whole thing? Isn't that the whole point of why we do this? It's not thinking outside the box. There's not supposed to be a box. <laughs> like, and we forget that. It's the painting, you know, of things. It's like, there are, there's no correct way to do that, and that's why we love this so much.